the future of Foundry VTT is here. The first prototype of Foundry version 11 has gone live now, so let's look at the major features coming in the next big version of Foundry VTT. Hi, my name is Fondu, and on this channel, I give you Foundry VTT tutorials, TTRPG tips and tricks, and daily TTRPG memes. So if that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button down there. Let's get started with today's video. Now, as I mentioned, Foundry version 11 is currently in its prototype stage. The first version of it has now been published on Foundry's site. So if you're using Foundry VTT, you can now try prototype one of version 11. However, you should note that it is highly experimental and is not recommended to migrate your long-term campaigns over to it. So be warned. And let me just give you an overview of how the Foundry development process for a new version goes. So the first phase of a development for a new version of Foundry VTT is prototype. Prototype is the phase where major new features are implemented. There's going to be a lot of bugs, things are going to break, but there are new, big, exciting features. But this is a very experimental phase. The second phase is called development. This is where major new features have been implemented and now Foundry is looking for feedback from the community. So the community can use these new features, give feedback, and report bugs. Third phase is testing. This phase is intended to iron out the last bugs before a stable version of the new version is out there. So in this phase, it is mostly stable. However, there are still some bugs that are being fixed throughout this phase. And finally, phase four stable. This is a stable version of Foundry VTT where most of the big bugs have been fixed. Some bugs may linger here and there, but this is the version that can safely be used on your long-term campaigns and you can migrate this with no issues in mind. So a version of Foundry will go through all of these different phases before reaching the stable version, which most people will use. Now, if you don't want to play around with stuff that is broken, then things might break here and there, then I recommend that you don't update yet and wait for the stable version. However, I will now introduce you the major new features of Foundry VTT version 11. Now, excuse me, I'm gonna be reading a little bit more off my list than usual because this is very technical, but the first new feature in Foundry VTT is improvements to Fog of War. Now, Fog of War, of course, is the thing that obscures the map from players and reveals things as they move forward in the map. Now, there is a new texture-based approach to the Fog of War, which significantly improves Fog of War rendering and FPS related to light and fog rendering. So this means that you're gonna have improved FPS overall for yourself and your players, which is always great. And there is also a framework laid down for the future for a manual fog of war render. So building things for the future. Second, windows. We're not talking about the operation system windows. We're talking about the things like that one over there behind the curtain that you can look outside of. Currently in Foundry VTT, if you want to do a window, what you're gonna have to do is create a secret wall within Foundry and then use that as your window because the players can't go through it, but they can see through it. But it has some drawbacks. For example, if you look through a secret wall, you see everything throughout the whole map, especially if you have big maps, that might not be what you want, seeing through the entire map, no matter how close to the window you are. Now however, there is a new configuration for walls which will allow you to make windows a lot more nicely. So this configuration allows for proximity-based activation threshold. What this means is once you reach a certain threshold of distance to the wall, only then will you be able to see through that wall. And you can also set it so that once you get closer to the window, you will be able to see more through it. So if you're, if you're far from it, but just at the edge of the threshold, you see a little bit, but then once you get closer, you see more from it. So this creates a better window experience for you if you're looking to create a system like that. Number three is subtypes. This is more for the module developers and such, but these subtypes are gonna allow for modules that can create new subtypes for documents. For example, in journals, you can create a new type called quests or pie shops, <laughs> whatever you want. Anyway, you're gonna be able to have modules that create these new subtypes and they can be useful for very specific things. But again, this is more for the module developers in mind. Number four is a database update. So Foundry version 11 is going to be shifting from NEDB to level DB as the database provider. But don't worry, all of your databases will be automatically migrated once you switch to Foundry version 11. And this migration will be non-destructive, so don't worry, don't worry. 
This database update will also improve read-write operations and embedded document operations, and the introduction of sublevels within these databases will allow for specific changes to be made without having to rewrite entire lines of the whole database. Again, this is more technical in nature and is probably going to interest the more tech-savvy of you, but this is a fairly sizable thing, so cool. Number five is package handling. In Foundry version 11, there's gonna be improvements to package handling, which make it so that you can define persistent storage space for your packages, meaning that their data subfolder won't be deleted when the package gets updated. So if for some reason you need to make sure that your package data does not get deleted. Once that's updated, it's going to be possible in Foundry 11. Also, interestingly enough, packages can also include optional dependencies now in Foundry. So if you want to suggest other packages to install together with your package, now you can do it directly in your manifest so that Foundry itself can say, hey, you should also install these packages because they will improve the experience. Again, this is not for most DMs or players. This is for the module creators, but this should be cool for all of you module creators. And finally, number six is Node and Electron updates. Foundry version 11 will now require Node 16 at minimum 18 recommended and has moved on to Electron 22, which will will bring support for version 8 JavaScript features under Chromium version 108. So, cool. And that's it. Those are all of the new features that have so far been developed for Foundry VTT version 11. Now, it should be noted that there can be several prototype versions of Foundry version 11, we'll have to see, which can include other new features. So as those come out, I'm going to make videos looking at the release notes and seeing if there are any other new features or any major changes to these features that I've mentioned here. I'm going to be linking down below the patch notes. So if you want to have a look at the specifics, you can double check from the patch notes. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, also while you're looking for those patch notes, leave a like and subscribe down there and a comment on what you think about Foundry version 11 so far. I'm excited, of course, for a new version of Foundry. I love Foundry VTT myself. I use it for my, my games and it's just a fantastic piece of software that I cannot praise too much. And hey, thank you very much for watching this video. I very much appreciate it. If you liked it, like I said, like and subscribe down there. And I stream every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern European Standard Time on twitch.tv slash dice and easy. That is twitch.tv slash dice and easy. I would also appreciate a follow over there. And you should come hang out and talk about tabletop role playing games and watch me play video games. That's pretty fun as well. And on screen right now, you're going to see another Foundry VTT tutorial of mine, which you should definitely check because uh, they're pretty good, if I do say so myself. All right. Thank you very much for this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Version 8 JavaScript features under Chromium one, version 1. Redo.